Hey, it's Andre. If you're looking for something that not only protects your Sony ZV-E10, but also gives this camera added customization features, then why not try this camera cage from Smallrig. Smallrig do offer this cage for other camera models, but this one in particular is built specifically for the Sony ZV-E10. Straight out of the box, you get the cage made out of a strong and sturdy aluminium alloy, which is certainly going to give your ZV-E10 that added drop protection. Weight-wise, it's not that heavy at 150 grams, and personally, I don't think it adds a considerable distance to the overall feel and weight of the camera in hand. It has a silicon grip handle with the same dotted texture as the ZV-E10 grip, which conforms around the handle on the camera to give you a more pronounced and better gripping experience. So if you've got a ZV-E10 and wish it had more of a gripping handle then this cage is ideal. The feel that you get by holding the silicon grip on the cage is a lot better than the grip on the camera itself. But if you're like me and are not too concerned about the grip of the native camera then there is the option on the cage of removing the silicon grip by removing the two screws behind the grip at the bottom with the supplied allen key. On the cage itself you've got multiple accessory mounting points. At the top two slots to attach a camera strap, a cold shoe mount, two quarter inch thread holes and an airy 3 8 inch locating hole. On each side you've got three more of those quarter inch thread holes and on the bottom you've got another cold shoe mount, some more quarter inch thread holes, the screw to secure the camera to the cage and the base itself which is an Arca Swiss type plate compatible with certain mounts, adapters, handheld accessories and gimbals allowing the connection between your cage and the accessory you're mounting the camera to to become a quick release system. All of these accessory mounting points will support numerous accessories like microphones, lights, monitors, and on the top points, even Smallrig's own top handles, which can give you a different shooting angle when you're in that creative flow. But what you attach to the cage is personal what to what you need for your own setup. Works for me, might not work for you, and vice versa. If you come a bit closer, it's better. I'll let you into a little secret. I actually purchased the wrong top handle for this cage because it was cheaper. As you can see the holes don't line up with the holes in the cage but I still use this handle as I feel that with one screw fitted there's enough support between the handle itself and the cage not to make me think that it's going to come off and I do prefer the comfort of a bigger rubber handle anyway because I can do more creatively with this compared to a mini handle. But I recommend getting the proper one if you actually want the actual small rig recommended top handle. I'll link to that in the description below. Despite there being no instructions in the box, installation is simple as the ZV-10 slots straight into place and is secured via screwing the screw in at the bottom. And one of those ingenious features of the cage is that magnetically stored and slotted next to the screw is a mini screwdriver that gives you easy and convenient access to tightening and loosening the screw for easy installation and removal of the ZV-10 from the cage. Definitely saving time from having to annoyingly find that screwdriver every time. Although for most people using the zv 10 with the cage, this one lock does provide more than enough to secure the camera firmly. There is a minimal amount of twisting of the camera within the cage, and as you can see, what I've got to do to actually make it rock within it, so it's definitely minimal. But to prevent any rotation, small rig provide in the box, a side lock, screw, and the compatible Allen key. This is easily installed by placing the lock between the underneath of the strap mount on the camera and the cage itself, and putting in the screw. Now that minimal rotation has stopped. You won't need to worry about the cage scratching the ZV-10 as there are strategically placed rubber pads on the top and bottom connecting surfaces of the cage. With the cage on you can see there are no obstructions to the camera from the cage. The writing that is on the camera itself like off on and C1 which are now covered by the cage are replicated by the cage itself. You're not prevented from pressing any buttons and you're still able to attach the windshield. Although and it seems like a bit of a design flaw if you have accessories like the Sony wireless microphone or certain external flashes then because of the cage and its proximity to the hot shoe mount then you're unable to fully attach these to the camera as accessories like these like to protrude forward when attached and because of that obviously there isn't enough room there to do so. So if you've got one of those accessories that rely on hot shoe mount of the zv 10 then I probably wouldn't get this if I were you but if you've got an accessory that needs to be mounted on the top but doesn't rely on the power or connectivity from the multi interface shoe of the zv 10 then you can always use the cold shoe mount just above it. On the side opposite to the grip side you have full access to opening both panels for connecting an external microphone as well as the USB-C, HDMI and headphone jack ports. 
Within the cage, the ZVE 10's flip screen is fully operational and can be put into any position you'd want it to be, even if it wasn't in the cage. When it's in its fully extended position, it can be rotated both clockwise and anti-clockwise. At the bottom, you've got unobstructed access to the battery compartment, so you're able to remove and insert both the battery and the memory card to the camera at any time without having to remove the cage. Sometimes it's those small things that make you smile when you look at products like this. The little cutout on the bottom of the cage for the trailing wire if you're using a dummy battery, which will ensure that the camera will stay level on a surface, something you can't do with a camera on its own unless you've got another mount or an accessory attached to it like this. Those quarter threaded holes on the grip side of the cage lay to do something that can't be easily done with the camera itself, and that is to mount it in landscape orientation. Yes, you're able to do this on certain tripods and mount adapters, but there will be other accessories like mini tripods or just a handheld setup where just having this one attachment is perfect for the job. And don't forget, you'll still be able to add further accessories to the setup. Let's go and see a few instances with the accessories that I currently have in use with the small rig cage attached to the Sony ZV-10. As mentioned earlier, the small rig cage is also available for different camera models, but it's also available in different versions. For the zv 10 you can get the versions without the grip, with the base plate only, and with the base plate and grip only. Not only does the cage provide your zv 10 with protection and enhanced gripping experience, but it opens the endless possibility of adding accessories to your setup on different parts of the cage that you would not be able to have with just the camera on its own, where you'd usually be confined to one or two added accessories. And it does this so simply by just being there, made to almost perfection, fortunately let down by that hot shoe issue, but apart from that everything else just works. And the way it integrates with the camera, most of it isn't hindered by the frame. You've got exactly the same access to all the buttons, card slots, the battery compartment and the flit screen. Imagine being able to have the complete vlogging setup, lights, external battery, microphone, all on a handheld mount and not limited by space. Well, you'll be able to do so with the small rig case. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more zv 10 related content, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.